Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today in the, uh, what is it called? It's the, it's not the global map, it's the Camp Hathor. Oh, I thought I was talking about the, uh, there's a place that we also need to go to. Uh, that uh, we'll go to eventually, uh, but for right now we're talking to Serene over here just to see how she's. Oh, she just talked to us. Gust of wind sails into the bay with the sole intention of disturbing the romantic scene. And now let's find out if it, the word romantic there actually means romance or if it means something else. It ferociously tossles the woman's hair, but it's chill cannot pierce into her bones, for she had already found warmth in her man's arms. Oh, look at that. It's used properly. I love it. What it can do, however, is disgorge the foul stench from the nearby toilets. Excret... It, what? what? A, a, execrable pit and drag it right under the couple's noses, liquefying their faces, literal, uh, figuratively speaking, and instantly separating them through the power of what is essentially tremendous environmental flatulence. They are forced to step aside from this path of olfactory devastation as the odious wind sets sail again, its mission accomplished. After taking a breath of fresh air, the woman addresses the man. Can't you just stay a bit longer? I'm sorry, darling, but I gotta go. When I return, I'm taking you with me, away from all this. You know how I feel about this place, and the sole reason I come back here is because of you, Serene. I gotta do this. I need to prepare everything for us to settle down in the north. He wipes the tears off her face. Don't cry, he says, and she pushes him away. I'm not crying because you're leaving. I'm crying because the damn reek burned my eyes. What kind of emotional pansy do you take me for, huh? And she smiles and wipes her, tear, the tear, uh, her tears with her hand. What about the tunnelers? Uh, she says, how are you going to get past them bloody freaks? I know a way. You didn't marry no incompetent Quaker. She shrugs her shoulders. He laughs. Oh, really? Uh, look, I gotta go. You take care of yourself for me, okay? Oh, cut the crap and give me this sloppy kiss already. Beck and Serene kiss each other one more time, after which Beck whispers something into her ear and walks away leaving Camp Hathor. She stands there and watches him, and, and in that moment, notices you. As soon as your stares meet, you turn toward the river, pretending to enjoy the gloomy view, which is not actually what I wanted to do. I, I actually wanted to talk to her and just be like, hey, so there's this this, this really foul-smelling guy, and uh, he seems to have it uh, have a, a soft spot for you. Oh, I stole, and also I stole from you. Before you is a young woman. She's tall for a woman, and her leather coat, which looks like it has seen better, uh, far better days, further emphasizes that fact. The fact that she is tall for a woman, as it ends up noticeably short. Her bare arms, because she obviously, that's a, a woman's cut. It's in the under rail, it's very important. Her bare arms are thin, but well developed without being overly muscular, as to ruin the feminine image. She, she, she... she took care not to overbuild her muscles cuz i don't know i'm going to i'm, I'm going to be femme so we just you know need to need to not have too thick arms i disagree on that though i i it's the woman with big arms that's that's the stuff with her while her legs in contrast are thick and ma well, especially yeah that's nice and <laughs> and thick and massive and are tucked into heavy looking boots she greets you with level eyebrows and an equally level tone of voice did you hear and see all you needed back there huh Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Look, my name's Carrie. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's all right. Nice to meet you too, Carrie. What can I do for you? What do you do around here? I'm a hunter, she says. Can you tell me more? I don't know you well enough. Next question. Uh, what do you do around here? Okay, yeah. The, basically, I cannot ask her more things. I wonder if that is a speech check. Or I wonder if we're just um, basically not capable of doing that because we don't have the quest. And we can't ask her things that will lead her. Hey, so wouldn't you want to meet me? Oh, yeah, that's the where the poo comes from. Or the poo f smell. Speaking of poo, there you might hear fireworks in the background. I do apologize for that. But, yeah, such is life. So I can't go back. I thought I could go back there. Oh, there it is. Go on through. Good luck. Oh, yeah, it's, I don't need luck. It's all fine. Do you have a passage? We do have a passage. Good, good, good. Oh, look at that. That green poo over there. That's not actual green poo. It doesn't do damage to me. Because it normally does. I should be sneaking, by the way. Cannot sneak immediately. There's a dead person in front of me. I'm sneaking now. I'm also turning up the speed. There's a burber. Two burbers. 
Okay, that's bad. Please don't attack. You jerk. You actual terrible jerk. I don't think I'm going to get away of, from this without... Um, without some damage. Or without having to heal. Okay, let's do this. That's pretty good. I can try and frighten you. I don't know if that works. It does. It does. That's good news. Let's get out. So I'm taking a little bit of damage. It might be that I don't need to... Ooh, don't need to heal, but I don't think that's going to happen. I could try... Let's see. Let's do a force field and see how that looks. I mean, a force field kind of looks good right now. Let's see what I can do here with the electrokinesis. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's a stun. And I can't do that. I can't... Uh, let's do this one. Let's try that one over there. And move this way. So taking a little bit of damage. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he didn't attack me. That's a surprise. Okay. So go with a normal... Attack right there. I might be able to kill you. Uh, it's a bit of a waste to do this. Well, it's not a waste, but uh, uh, um, it's risky. Yeah, and of course I didn't kill it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're at 89, so we would be regenerating, but that guy is going to probably shoot us. Yep, there it is. There it is. It's fine. It's all good. I'm going to need to step over here, if you don't mind. Hmm. Step over there. Yeah. And the egg goes away. And I can... There's a spawn coming. Okay. There's two spawns coming. Oh, no. Okay. So I need to attack you. Because the spawns I can deal with. Sort of. Not really. I'm just going to kill them with this. A little bit of damage. No critical. Okay. That is a critical. Please don't attack me. I think the attack... I'm not actually sure. But it feels like the attack is super fast. Like in terms of... Uh, in terms of action points. Oh, I don't feel that this is... Gonna end well. Please come this way. Thank you. Okay, we have one antidote. Oh no. Okay. So that... Okay, let's take one of these. Let's move over here. And I'm taking 14 damage. Oh, don't do that! Okay. Oh, you jerk. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have next cold psi based ability is good. I can do this. That's not enough. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's good because uh, that way I can actually attack. Oh, my, I might, might be able to do this. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Are we safe? Yes, we are. Enter combat. Enter, enter freaking combat. I can't. Okay. We're safe. Whew. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I had to use a side booster, but, you know, such is life. Set... What did we... No, yeah. Such is the way of fighting burrowers. And we have a burrower ocarina, which is a dark blowing snout. Uh, the dark blowing snout of this burrower has been pierced so many times through its life that it can serve as a musical instrument now, which is actually not how it works, but it can look like a physical instrument. A physical? A musical instrument, I'm sure it can. Just, that's, that's kind of... That's not how, how that works. I think... I'm not actually sure how it works. But I think the uh, the thing that makes a flute work is the um, the lip. There's there's a bit a bit of a there's a thing there's a thing in the flute that uh, makes the air vibrate around the chamber, uh, and there are instruments that don't that also vi well, the air also vibrates, but they also have a, an an ex not an external but like a an extra lip made out of a special kind of wood and I don't know the name of that oh also this guy is the worst 
Okay, I should be able to do this. Please don't hurt myself. Okay. I should be able to do this. There's an egg over there. Of course, I attacked the wrong place. Oh, did we do it? I think we did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Okay, so I'm taking damage, but yeah, that's fine. What do we have? Tungsten steel spikes. Good stuff. And uh, also, tungsten steel is not a thing. <laughs> it's either tungsten or it's steel. <laughs> that's kind of funny, now that I think about it. I mean, it's pedantically funny. I amuse myself. Don't, don't question my... Pedantry. I, it's, it's fine. It's all good. Okay. So I'm sure there's secret passages around here. Where are we? Hathor mine. Hmm. I I mean, I assume this is not the actual mine. It's just where the people lived. Climb over nine agility. Really? You tell me that. Why do you... How? How does that work? Why would you tell me that? The game didn't get patched. Did the game get patched? I think the game might have been patched. Okay, we got a few sp spawns. I really wish you could stop that. Maybe you can. No, no, I didn't. It was just action points gone. Yeah. That's the downside of that ability. And it's sort of an unrealistic side of things. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I have all the propaganda I need. Thank you very much. Also some fusion cells. Let's not forget that we have gotten... It's a 50 hacking. I should be okay for that. Uh, must not forget that we have gotten through the um, the battery factory. That's probably the mine. You can see the little thing. The little whatever. The mine-looking uh, support beams or whatever. Those should be everywhere because we're on the ground all the time. Well, I don't. That's not how you save. Why? Why do I keep going back there to save like that? What game have I just been playing? Well, there there are some games that I'm playing that uh, require you to go to the the um, the save menu to quick save. Phantom Doctrine, I think, is one. I mean, Phantom Doctrine is is definitely one. Okay, that's really bad. We might die. Let's see what I can do here. So I can attack there. That's pretty good. Can attack here. That's pretty good. I can attack with this. Oh, that's even better. I was expecting there to be another burrower somewhere. And indeed there is. Just not one that I... Yeah, that's why I say that's a bad thing. Okay. Drink that antidote. Electro customer submission. So you get stunned. The spawn coming in. Uh, I need to do that, but I can't. What can I do, actually? Can't do anything on, on that. I could do neural overload. Right, it's, well, not neural overload. They're all the same on side counts? Yeah. Or not side counts, the side points. Well, I guess we're drinking another side booster or whatever that is. I say yellow, whatever that is, because I don't know if it's drinking. There we go. Now you're frozen. I should. I, I need to learn how to pace myself on the. Uh, on the front of. Um. um of side points specifically. So I'm gonna try to stun you. That's gonna cost 30 action points. That's a problem. Let's try and make sure that that's not too much of a problem. Actually, do I wanna do that? I don't think I want that. I mean, the stun is a nice one. How is the action points right now? That was free for action points. And now this is cheaper. That's how I do that. And I can kill you, actually, outright. Because there will be... There will not be more. I thought there would be. Hmm. Well, at least we're not fighting Death Stalkers, because those guys are the worst. They're super nasty. Man, 
Borrowers are pretty nasty, too. Okay, get some stuff. Nothing amazing. It's interesting that these guys have the same... Actually, what are, what is that? Why do I... Those are insectoid salivarium. Salivaria would be the plural, I think. Salivariorum. I don't actually know how to pluralize the saliv salivarium. And we have ourselves an old diver's helmet. The second one in a collection of two. And uh, we finished that collection right there, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm sure we're not going to be able to get all the oddities. I, w I, I, w I wanted to. I wanted to. Now that we have the map, exploration is made a lot more... A lot less threatening. Oh, I remember that bit. I definitely remember that bit. Yeah, exploration is made less, less threatening. Uh, which is a good thing, I find. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay... No, I flee? Do I flee? I think I might. I think I do. That's a bit of a problem. That's less of a pro That is a bit of a problem, though. There's many of them. Well, um... Let's start off with Electrophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophiloph
Like, for example, burrower poison glands. Crawler stingers, on the other hand, suck. So, you leave. Okay. Then we have other things in here. And then we have some other oddities and whatnot. Not actually oddities. That's that's experience. You don't carry the oddities. You just get the oddities. Oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. They're gonna see me. There's also an explosive barrel, which is good. Okay. How do I? How do I use? Oh no. It's gonna spit at me. It did not. Oh, that's okay. You jerk. You are such a jerk. Oh, that's pathetic. No. Just don't... No. Just don't do that. I mean, the barrel is a nice thing, but... I can I can live without that. Also, my sneak is awful. It's my clothing, isn't it? No. My stealth is kind of okay, actually, on the clothing. I wonder where the other borrower showed up from. This is a nice... Oh, no. Don't flee. I want to be friends. Okay, that's actually quite good, because I can get the hit for free. And I can throw that one away. And then fall back. Because I want to save my side points. Probably should have not thrown the fireball, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to kill you and move away again. Because I think that guy is not going to be able to attack me. Especially if I hide over here. Yep, I got it. So, Electro Faces. Electro Faces! Oh no, there's more. Oh, it's a spawn. I got you, little spawn. Okay, so I have this for free. Not free, for cheaper. No, I don't. I need to attack once. And then I need to do this. And then I can attack again. Even though for a moment that thing was red. And it scared me. And we pulled it off. Okay, nothing on the crate. Explosive barrel. There's a spawn over there, which probably means there's more of them. Speaking of which, I'm over encumbered. That's not speaking of which. <laughs> but I am over encumbered and I don't like it. Sort, sort, sort. Okay. So these are low quality ones. So I can... You can keep dropping if you want to. You can just drag and drop. No problem whatsoever. I just don't want to do it because... Uh, because I'm like that. That's the reason. I'm like that. Yeah, we have we have some stuff. Nothing nothing major. But the, the little burrower carapaces, those are the ones that are really heavy. Can you imagine carrying around just a freaking huge carapace? Okay, there's a rock. Or there's rocks over there. I don't think there are more. Nope. There's also rubble with... Of course, it's a trilobite fossil. Aha! But we have found an old cage, the one and only, an old cage probably used to keep rodents or bugs, not birds. It's curious. Maybe because it's too small? That could be the... Uh, oh, I didn't try you. That could be the implication. Because uh, it's like crickets, the little plastic cage. I don't know if it's everywhere in the world, here in Europe, or at least here in, where I live in Portugal, we have those little plastic cages made for crickets for kids that go cricket hunting and then they get the crickets and put them in instead of eating them uh well actually wild crickets are bad for eating but um well they're not they're not poisonous or anything it's just they're, they're not good uh no they put them in the cage and uh they they, they they cricket away the crickets do also that's rocks okay so there's a passage over here i am i'm gonna save here because I don't know if this is important. I assume it is, because it's it's the mines. So if you're going to want to figure out... Also, that could lead me somewhere. Probably not. Aha. Uh -huh. It is important to flood... To actually drain... Like, flood, flood as in just absolutely kill them all, I suppose? Yeah, we can't go through. So that was part of the uh, part of the deal. That's interesting. It was all about that hole. And now because of the water, all the uh, the borrowers died. I feel somehow that that wouldn't 
actually work very well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure it does. In the context of this game, I'm sure it does. And unfortunately, we had to use one of the explosives, which I had rather not use. But uh, but I can go back and, and buy. In fact, I'll do that in between episodes. I'll go back and drop all of my stuff. And I want, for a change, I won't come back and get the uh, the junk that I'm leaving around. Because that junk is actually not important. Uh, not for me, anyway. Not for my character. I could make some money out of it, but generally speaking, it's a waste of time. So, who actually gave me the quest? Was it one of the Freds? So, Camp Hathor. Burrows have emerged. Oh, no. It was not one of the Freds. Who was the boss of here? Was it you? No. That guy's bored. Was it here? I think it was. I said, oh, these are merchants, and it turns out they're not. Yeah, it was definitely here. Okay. Will they let me go into the back room? I hope. I wonder. Excuse me. Edgar. State your business. Uh, I've dealt with the borrowers. He, his eyebrows rise. Well done, well done. I underestimated you, I have to be honest. How did you manage to do it? Oh, yeah, it, it was easy. I went to the mines, punching borrowers with my bare fists on my way, and then I saw water leaking through the, some rocks, and I punched them into oblivion, and water started rushing through and washed the vermin away, and then I roared like an angry animal as I watched them flail their in, 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 inadequate legs trying to save their lives. And now, you're safe. Edgar's face solidifies to display an expression of awe, yet... Not at your feet, as soon as. Not at your feet, as soon as, as you soon realize, but rather at the extremeness and impossibility of your tale. And then he shrugs. You did it. Uh, thank you very much. As a thank you, I offer you a moment monetary reward, about two hundred coins. And on top of that, since I'm very pleased with uh, by your work, one of the following: a crossbow, a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, a shotgun, a knife, a machete, or a spear. All top quality. What would you like? I would like the uh, the sniper rifle, I think. Oh, excellent choice. You've earned it. Now the disc bug infestation is over. The rat hound king is the only thing we have to worry about. Yeah, about that. Haven't I mentioned him before? I suppose I was too focused on the burrower issue. Yeah. Uh, who is he, actually? Oh, the self-proclaimed rat hound king is a savage man that lives in his filthy rat hound... With... With his filthy rat hounds, he appears to have absolute control over them, as they behave much like a small army. It is almost unreal. I, I don't know where he resides or how he manages to control these rat hounds, but one thing is certain. He's one very dangerous individual. If you run into him by any chance, you better run for your life, because he ain't gonna show you mercy, and I think no man or woman can defeat him alone. He's intelligent, and he's as large as a boulder. He's the master of setting deadly traps and covering his tracks so well that, for most of us, he might as well be floating through these caves. And I'm not even going to mention the deadly poisons he uses with his weapons. He's killed so many of our own, and I don't think he's bound to stop. Why are you fighting, though? Oh, it's all started four years ago, even though it seemed like a century. Back then, late Gideon Sud was the leader of Camp Hathor. One day, he came before us all and told us that someone calling himself Rathound King was invading our hunting grounds. At one point, Gideon said he had even managed to speak to this man, but it turned out he wasn't nothing but a filthy savage who had no interest in discussing anything with anyone. The man claimed these land belonged to him, and wouldn't accept anyone telling him otherwise. His stubborn attitude and Gideon's refusal to give him give in to this man's demands marked the start of our conflict. Since then, he's been attacking, 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 attacking our hunters, either directly or by trapping the hunting grounds, and on a few occasions has even sent packs of rat hounds to invade our camp. All in all, he's caused a lot of trouble and a lot of death around here. But let we'll get rid of him eventually. We will get rid of him. What if I take him down? In that case, I'll say one thing. Good luck with that. You need to find him first. So far, we've had no luck in tracking him down. Even if you do somehow manage to find him, know that he's most likely surrounded by his rat hounds. Even if he's alone, he's dangerous enough. Uh, can I ask you something else? So, I want to tell him... I want to tell him about what the Rat King told me. And I can. I can indeed tell him what the Rat King told me, but 
I'll do that next episode. Because for right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. Ninja Butchers!